Go ahead. Okay. So it's Easter, and uh, we stole this idea from Seth Meyers, except we couldn't find chocolate bunnies to drink out of, so we found chocolate chickens, little hollow mm -hmm. chocolate chicken. Mm -hmm. I'm going to fill mine with cognac after I bite the chicken's head off, and then we'll see how that tastes. So <laughs> here we go. It's good chocolate, right? Because they're lint. lint. Lint chocolate's pretty good. Lint milk yeah. chocolate. Got my, I'm not going to put this much in, but we need a funnel here <laughs> to do the job. All right. Shove that right into the neck. <laughs> right in. Whoopsie daisy. How'd you do? Uh, I'll have to lick the table when we're done. Okay. So it's filled with cognac. Mm, that was good. I seem to have a hole in my chin. Do you get any cognac residue in the chocolate or? Well, oh, nice. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I don't think that's a very hot cognac, but in that confined space, it's a little strong. <laughs> okay, now I can taste the chocolate a little bit. What does the chocolate do for the cognac, do you think, if anything? Well, that way, it kills some of the ferocious alcohol fumes that are <laughs> scouring the inside of my skull right now. You sound less hoarse. I probably just needed a drink. <laughs> I noticed the same thing. So either use better cognac, though this is actually pretty good cognac. I've been drinking this Clem's Cowboy Cognac. It's actually from France, but I guess it's from, I don't know, French cowboy or someone who cowboy went to France. Anyway, by, by way cognac. of Missouri or something, I think. Something it's not there. bad. Um, use better cognac and get a bigger chicken or bunny so that the fumes can escape because otherwise you're essentially huffing paint thinner. So I guess we can call that a successful <laughs> experiment. So um, happy Easter, I guess. Um, drink up. <laughs>